morning, everyone. Let's stand together this morning. We're so glad to have each one of you joining us to praise and to worship the Lord today. What a beautiful day. Hallelujah. 54 degrees this morning. Can you even believe it? That's the kind of weather. That's what we've been looking for. Hallelujah. For about six months, we've been looking for that. At least that long, I'm sure. Hallelujah. Amen. We're so glad to have you joining us as, uh, on Facebook and on YouTube as well. We're glad to have you. We hope that you're blessed today. We have a wonderful scripture. It comes from Psalm 122, verse 1. It says, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go unto the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, we're here and we're gathered together. Let's lift up the name of Jesus and let's glorify his name today. Let him know that you are so thankful to have a loving God and a loving Savior that you will worship him with all of your heart and with all that's within you today. Hallelujah. Lift him up.
truth and the life. And he's the way that we get to Father God's love. Amen? So let's sing that one way. Start out and lay my life down, Lord. I lay my life down at your feet. So the only one I need. I turn to you and you are always there. In troubled times, it's you I speak. I push you first. is here today glad you're living for the king of kings and the lord of lords today blessed be the mighty god i was so glad that uh, the scripture you read i love that i was glad i wasn't sad okay i guess i'll go to church i mean no that's not (laughs) what the scripture means come on i was glad when they said unto me let us go into the house of the lord Come on, how many know this is the best place at this moment in your life? This is the best place you could ever be. Come on. How many believe that today? Amen. Amen. Amen.
before I spoke a word. Before I spoke a word, you were singing over me. You have been so, so good to me. Before I took a breath,
the Lord just brought these verses to my mind, this, this line where it says, over, oh, the overwhelming and the never-ending and reckless love of God. It chases me down, it fights until I'm found, and it leaves the 99. But when I got to this place where it says, I couldn't earn it, I don't deserve it. Still you give yourself away. Oh, the overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love of God. For years, I got hung up on that, that I couldn't earn His love, that I didn't deserve His love. But how my life changed when I just began to receive it as a, a, the lavish gift it was, to really let it soak in and heal me and to change my life because I realized I couldn't earn it and instead of using that as something to beat myself up with, I used it as something to push me to Him, to that kind of love. Amen, let's sing that one more time. Oh, the overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love of a God and just let Him lavish it on you.
standing for just a moment. We're, uh, we're very privileged today to have Willie and Wendy Doolin with us. Uh, it's been a privilege to meet Wendy today because we've known Willie for quite a while because uh, Willie has worked with us many times. As a matter of fact, Willie is the one that did all the sound in this building. He set up all the sound, set up everything for us. He's helped us set up uh, cameras and video and all these things. Uh, Willie, uh, can I say he's a genius with that? Would you not be able to live that down? <laughs> Will he just not let you forget I said that? Uh, as a matter of fact, Willie's so great that we didn't even let him come. He had to work today. You may see he's got the, yeah, he's got the uh, soundboard in his hand and he's been mixing this morning. So thank you, Willie. We love you, buddy, and appreciate all that you've done, and, and we're not through with you yet, so just, <laughs> just know that. But uh, today, we were, we were doing something when one of these things we were working on, and um, 
uh, I would, I guess we had shoebox stuff out or something, or, or, and I just, or maybe I mentioned it to Willie, and he says, oh, shoeboxes. He says, my wife, she's, uh, she's a crazy shoebox a person. Uh, I said, she is. And he said, oh, yeah. And then he told me the story, and I said, oh, my goodness. And I said, we're going to have to have her come and share with us uh, just the passion that she obviously has for something that's very passionate for us, very something very passionate in this church. And so I asked her today to come and uh, share, and then I thought more about it. I'm just, just going to cut her loose and let her go ahead and just, uh, I know she's got some pictures and some things, but uh, we're just really happy to have this morning Wendy Doolin to come and just share with us. Come on, Wendy. Bless you, sis. You need any help with anything? Are we good? Gina's putting out the shoe boxes. Okay. I'll get this in a second. Okay. All right. Good morning. And praise God. And my name is Wendy Doolin, and you know that already. And I'm going to stop right there and pray. Father God, we just lift up to you. Everyone in this church and everyone around the world who's packing Operation Christmas Child boxes, we pray that you will prepare those children and families to receive them and to receive Jesus. And we pray for Franklin Graham and the Operation Christmas Child staff and volunteers that you would keep them healthy and safe and strong and help them work through all the logistics of shipping we pray 11 million boxes this year. That's what I'm praying for. In the name of Jesus, amen. amen. All right. All right. Good morning, and of course, you may sit. So uh, I'm so glad to be here because you're such an Operation Christmas Child Church. This is so wonderful. I'm so excited. Okay, good. Linda's still there. I already got to meet Gina, and I'll meet Linda after church. If she's still here, it's all good. And I'm just here to share my story and how my story intersects with my Operation Christmas Child story. And I pray you will be blessed. Is it making a funny noise, Willie? Okay. And, but I'm also encouraging you to pack more boxes. More boxes. More boxes. All right. Over 2,000 years ago, a baby boy was born. He is Jesus Christ, the God-man. He is the Christmas child. Yes. Jesus, the Christmas child, was God's perfect plan to offer salvation to humans. He died to pay for our sins. He rose from the dead to make us right with God. Yes. Then Jesus told his first followers, and he tells us today, go and make disciples of all nations. I was born in 1966 in Pennsylvania. Samaritan's Purse was founded in 1970. Operation Christmas Child, a ministry of Samaritan's Purse, began in 1993. My parents were believers in Jesus, and we always went to church. And my mother always made Christmas special. There were many presents, many decorations, many cookies. But there was never a doubt in my child's mind and heart that Christmas was all about Jesus. I mentioned presents. When I say many presents, I mean many, many, many presents. But my brother and I knew that we gave and received presents because of the huge present that God gave us, Jesus, our friend, Savior, God with us. Do you get the idea? I love Christmas. <laughs> I love the whole season, and I love to give gifts and share about Jesus. A little bit about me. I grew up and I always believed the truth of the one true God and of Jesus, his son. But it was when I was 18 years old, my first semester at college, and I was at a Christian concert, and the Holy Spirit convicted me that I, Wendy, was a sinner, that I, Wendy, needed salvation and forgiveness from God, and that I, Wendy, needed to walk forward and personally ask Jesus to be my Savior and Lord. And I did. Over the next seven years, I started to learn to be a surrendered, obedient, evangelistic Jesus follower. And God slowly during those years brought me to the point of founding a Christian urban youth ministry named Hope for Youth in 1991. And I was so called and so passionate about bringing hope and help in the name of Jesus to the inner city and leading teenagers to Jesus. I admit 
I wasn't even thinking about the rest of the world bringing Jesus to the world, world with a capital W. But since its inception, Samaritan's Purse has been focused on the world with a capital W. And as of today, Samaritan's Purse works in over 170 countries, bringing international and U.S. disaster relief in the name of Jesus. So Operation Christmas Child was started in 1993 in the middle of the war in Bosnia. A man phoned Franklin Graham and said, would you be able to provide some gifts for the kids here? Maybe get some shoe boxes and put some gifts in them? And Franklin said, yes, we'll do that. Now, he was busy doing a lot of other things. He called a church in the United States. He called a church in Canada and said, can you pack these boxes? So Franklin's team figured, oh, we'll probably get about 1,200 boxes. Let's prepare how we're going to ship those. By the beginning of December, Samaritan's Purse had received the God-sized blessing of 28,000 shoe boxes on the very first collection. And so I recommend to you Franklin Graham's book. Has anybody read it? Operation Christmas Child, The Power, The uh, Story of Simple Gifts. I, it's actually on Kindle, so I found it the other night. Check out the rest of the story because they delivered those boxes in the middle of the war zone. Around 2009... God had brought me out from full-time work with Hope for Youth, and we had a daughter named Abigail, and she's 22 now. And now I was passionate about world evangelism. I honestly hoped that God would send Willie and I and Abigail overseas as full-time missionaries. But God has instead used us in short-term trips, financially supporting missionaries, praying, and of course doing Operation Christmas Child. And I try to use every available opportunity to train and encourage the church to go and make disciples of all nations. Now, back to my brother for a minute. Awesome, ministry-minded, Jesus follower that he is. Sometime back in uh, around 2009, he told me about Operation Christmas Child. I had never heard about it. I had never heard about Samaritan's Purse. And uh, so our family packed our first box. And as you know, it is a great project to do with children. And I'm talking about children from 1 to 92. There's your Christmas song. You know, I got to bring Christmas back in here. I love Christmas. Now, packing that first box was so fun and so eternally significant for a child and her family that we continued to pack boxes every year. I slowly increased the number of boxes each year. And I began to learn about the in-country events the partners that work with Samaritan's Purse, they're Christian ministries and churches around the world, and they host events to give out the shoeboxes, preach the gospel, and have general fun. And so that's what they do, and so that was great. I also learned that Operation Christmas Child puts a booklet into each box. When they know where your box is going to go, they put the booklet that has that kid's language. And so they keep working to translate more and more uh, languages for these booklets. Okay, so now I'm going to read to you briefly from this book. If I can open it. Hold on. Got to get back two pages. All right. So this is what the booklet they read at the back. Whoever believes in Jesus will live forever in the presence of God after they die. They will celebrate and serve God forever. Jesus invites you to be his friend and follower. Yes, the God who created everything and rules over everything desires for you to be his friend. There is only one way to be friends with God and spend forever with him. We must trust in what Jesus has done for us and follow him with our lives. Turn from your sins. Believe in Jesus. Follow him. If there is anyone here today who has not yet chosen to believe in Jesus, be forgiven by God and become part of God's family, I encourage you to talk to Pastor Scott or me or anybody else after the service today. See, this is kind of like we're at a shoebox event. We're preaching the gospel. So at the shoebox event, the kids are invited to believe in Jesus. But guess what? They also put a place in this booklet that they can write down the names of people that they can then go tell about their new forever friend, Jesus. So these new young believers are going out and sharing the gospel, multiplying God's, God's message across the world. So pray for these sweet kids that receive those box. They're not just, oh, these poor kids get the box. No, this is a new evangelist that God is raising up.
Okay, so to the first slide. So I think I can see it back there, right? Okay, so this is the first slide. In 2013, our family joined my brother's family in Minneapolis at a processing center. Has anybody gone to an Operation Christmas Child processing center? Okay, cool. There's a few here. That's awesome. After the shoe boxes are received during collection week, this week it's November 14th through the 21st, the boxes are sent to processing centers. All the boxes are inspected. You know, we can't send any war-related items. They want to make sure the boxes don't have anything that will have a problem in customs. And they want to make sure that the boxes are completely filled. You guys know that. But sometimes people that are new don't know that. And they just throw one toy in there. So if that happens at the processing center, they take care of it. All right, next slide, please. This is Abigail actually doing some work at the processing center. So we kind of like inspect them and then we get to tape them at the end and then they're ready to go. Okay, next slide, please. In 2016, I packed about 40 boxes. And that seemed like a lot. I realized that I loved this ministry and that it was a super cost-effective way to share the gospel around the world. So I started collecting items all year long, just like you guys do. So because that's the easiest way to get it done. One thing I like to do, probably you guys have done this, you hit Walmart after Christmas and after Valentine's Day to get the stuffed animals on sale. Since COVID, that's been a problem, but we can work with it. So we get the things on sale. All right, next slide, please. In 2017, I was able to pack 85 boxes. You can see how it's a taller pile than last year. I send boxes to all six of the groups, girls, boys, and each of the three age groups. And they say that the group that gets the least boxes are the 10 to 14-year-old girls. So I say to Family Life Christian Center here, go big on the 10 to 14-year-old girls. And give them a stuffed animal. Every girl wants that. But give them teen and preteen stuff. And uh, I just want to be blunt. Give them feminine products because that will make, them, make it possible for them to not miss a week of school every month. That's huge for them. That's huge. So I started ordering extra Operation Christmas boxes. I would assemble them, put them on my desk at work, and if somebody walked into my office, when they left, they had an Operation Christmas Child box to fill. Operation Christmas Child was a perfect ministry for me. It is Christ and Christmas-centered. All right, next slide, please. Okay, so in 2018, I was able to pack 120 boxes. And uh, in order to do that, I not only shopped all year, but I had to pack my boxes in the summer. I mean, you can't wait till the fall to start packing that many. And uh, you remember my brother packed Operation Christmas Child boxes. Well, his small group at his church would get together one night in beginning of November and pack as many boxes as they could. So he and I started a competition. If his group could pack more boxes or if I could pack more boxes. So this year, I, I called him up and I said, I've packed 120 boxes. And a couple days later, I get a text from him with a photo attached. And there's a picture of some people and some boxes. And there's a guy I don't know holding a sign that says 121. Okay, but, but that guy wouldn't look at the camera because he knew he was lying. You know, they were just joking with me. So, so I actually won the competition that year. But the real winners were the kids who received the Christmas presents and the knowledge of Jesus. At gift distributions, the kids are shocked to see any gifts. They hand them a box, they open the box, and the kid thinks, oh, I just get one thing from here. And then the people at the distribution say, no, this whole box is yours. And the kids start laughing, giggling, crying, running around and hugging the boxes. So that's awesome. Next slide, please. All right, in 2019, I learned that 150 shoe boxes can fit in a Hyundai Tucson. <laughs> Another fun fact, missionaries that I knew actually were part of a team that took boxes up to a mountainous, unreached reason, region in Lesotho in Africa. So that was super fun. I'd never known anyone who actually went out. Next slide, please. Okay, that's, that's that same year. That's still the Tucson. All right. By this time, Operation Christmas Child items were taking over the house. Supposedly, we have two rooms that were for it. And if any of you have seen the room that you have all your Operation Christmas Child stuff, that's how two of my rooms look. 
They're like that. I was encouraging people in my church to pack Operation Christmas Child boxes. I was encouraging everyone. I said, hey, I'll buy the cardboard boxes, come by my house, pick up a box, take it home, fill it, drop it back at my house, and I'll take it to the collection point for you. So that was awesome. Also, during the years from 2016 to 2021, our daughter Abigail struggled with major health issues. She had to stay home for online school for her junior and senior year of high school. And the doctors couldn't tell us what the problems were or what to do about them. I spent most of 2017 through 2020 taking care of Abigail. I wanted to be with her and help her, but that didn't leave room for a lot of ministry and missions outside of the home. That is why I started packing so many boxes, because I could do Operation Christmas Child at home Whatever time of day I wanted to do it, whatever day of the week I wanted to do it, I could do it. And if I had five minutes, I would throw a few things in. If I had 20, I might fill, you know, a couple boxes. And you guys know, we, 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 one day you go to Dollar Tree. One day you go to Walmart. One day you order from Oriental Trading. And there's other, all these places. You just do all those things. But then if Abigail needed me, I could just pause right where I was and take care of her. So that, that just worked out great. But I also am going to pause right here and praise God for all the healing that he has brought to Abigail. Amen. Finally, in 2020, we started receiving diagnoses. Since now we knew what was going on, we didn't have to make all those trips to the emergency room. And she has started to feel better. Willie and I are rejoicing that God has clearly spoken to us on two different days in this last year. Jesus opened our eyes to see what he is doing in Abigail. Last week, I said, Abigail, you are an adult. An adult who can take care of herself, feels comfortable in herself and in the power of Jesus. And so I'll give you something else to praise. She went overseas this summer for two and a half months to an unnamed country so that she and her team could walk around and talk to people and invite them to study about Jesus and accept Jesus. So that was, that was awesome. Yes, I do. We praise the Lord so much for that. All right. Uh, and I just want to say again, these boxes are like the best cost-effective way to share the gospel. You spend $30 approximately for a box. Shipping this year is $10 a box, approximately $20 to put stuff in it, $30. With that box, that kid is going to hear the gospel. Their families are going to hear it. And so it's such an awesome spiritual return on investment for just $30 per box. Okay, so I think we're on the next slide now. So this is good. Stay at this one. Don't move. Uh, in 2020, Willie started getting actively involved. I should say his muscles got involved. This year I packed 308 boxes. My original goal was 240, but I just kept packing and packing and packing. And people brought us boxes. Okay, now next slide. Yeah. So we had to use Willie's sound equipment trailer to transport the boxes. And Willie carried all the boxes from our house to the trailer, from the trailer to the collection site. So that was awesome. He made a comment going, I never realized how many boxes you packed <laughs> till he had to carry them. So that was good. Now, this was also the first year I heard about online boxes, but I didn't do any yet. All right, next slide. So 2021, you can see the room where the boxes were stored after being completed. How many boxes? I did 476 boxes. I just kept packing and packing and packing. Next slide, please. You can see the rest of the boxes in the room there. This year, Willie was ready. Once again, he personally carried the majority of the boxes from our house to the vehicles to the collection site. And I got to make my own little Operation Christmas Child promotional video to share on Facebook and with the people at church. And I was ready to do online boxes. How many people have ever done an online box for Operation Christmas Child? Okay, now first of all, this is not instead of the boxes you're doing here in church. Remember, the online ones are in addition to those ones. I'm just telling you, we want lots of boxes. So you go online. It's actually really easy. I was afraid it was going to be hard, but it was easy. It can be so easy that you say, how many boxes do you want us to do? You put in five. It's great. They bill you 
It's $25 a box. So they'll bill you $125 if I did that, my math correctly. And, uh, or you can pick, I want a boy. I want this age. I want this wow item. I want these things. Either way, $25, that covers everything, including the shipping. And you've got an online box packed. Now, I found out something interesting. I saw this in some OCC publications, but I called them to double check. And what it is is that the online boxes, most of them, if not all, are going to the restricted countries, the hard to reach countries, the sensitive countries, because this way Samaritan's Purse has control over what goes into them. So that's why I like, you know, you pack boxes and that goes to all the countries that it's easier to get the boxes in. And then you do some online to get to the hard to reach countries. And so I did 89 online boxes last year. So that was fun. It was, it was actually so quick and easy. It was almost like too easy. But anyway, it was good. Um, now, when these boxes get to the sensitive, hard to reach countries, a Samaritan's Purse is working with local believers who are passionate about evangelism. And they use creative ways to get the boxes and the gospel to the children and their families. Okay, next slide, please. Now we're to 2022. So this was um, our, our dining room table a couple nights ago. Those are all the boxes for the girls 10 to 14 year old. All right, next slide, please. This is a work table in one of my rooms. So in the very back, you can see the little tiny flip-flops for the two to four year old boys. And then the next slide, please. That's a closet and you can see all the different items that I have stacked on the shelves there. So this goal, this year, my goal is to pack around 250 boxes. I'm not doing as many physical boxes, but I'll make up with it with online because it's been a tough year because last summer, my mother went to heaven. Praise God, she went to heaven. So we're very excited about that. Um, she herself had packed OCC boxes. And when her health got bad that she couldn't anymore, she gave money to other people in her church so they would pack them and shop for her. And um, so it, it's been a tough year. And so I admit, I hadn't touched any Operation Christmas Child stuff for a couple of months. But once again, God's working directly in my life. A few weeks ago, I got to spend time in Pennsylvania, where my parents lived and where I grew up. And it was time to officially say goodbye to my mom. Once I returned to Houston, I felt so much better physically and emotionally. And one of the first things I started to do was get those boxes out on the dining room table and start packing them. It was right after that that Pastor Scott called Willie and said, would Wendy like to come and speak about Operation Christmas Child? So I just see that was such a confirmation from Jesus. You know, there's a time to mourn and there's a time to dance. Well, we're going to say there's a time to mourn and there's a time to pack shoeboxes. Okay? So it is a time to pack shoeboxes. That's what we're going to do. Okay, next slide, please. That is a processing center. I don't know which location, but I do want you to know we have a processing center in the Dallas area, and registration is open if you want to go. Next slide, please. I just pulled that out of one of the Operation Christmas Child stuff. Look at that kid, so happy. And then the next slide, please. I love it when they show the pictures of the kids running home with their boxes. They're so exciting. They're so excited about that. I just love that. So that's all the slides, but if you want to leave that one up there so people can be excited about that, that's great. All right. Last year, Operation Christmas Child boxes went to over 100 countries, and many of them to unreached people groups at the ends of the earth. More than 9.1 million shoe boxes were distributed to children last year. We, all of us, are waiting for the year in which we can collect more than 11 million shoe boxes in one year. And so maybe this is the year. Since 1993, 198 million children have received boxes. Boxes have gone into over 50 restricted countries. Boxes have gone to children in over 350 unreached people groups, UPGs. Operation Christmas Child wants to make that number be that they've gotten to at least 500 UPGs by 2024. One UPG are the Himba people in Namibia, Africa. And they were unreached. They received 130 boxes for their children. Now there are 80 believers in Jesus and a new church building. So that's awesome. 
There's many other stories that they can't tell. If you ever look at it, they'll put little asterisks saying, we sent it to other countries, but we can't tell you which one, which ones. Samaritan's Purse is also committed to reaching 500,000 children scattered across hundreds of remote islands in the Pacific Ocean. And they want to do all that, reach 500,000 kids by 2023. They're already working on that. So before I wrap up with a few other Operation Christmas Child facts, let me tell you where I am recently, right now. I'm focusing on and continuing to grow in pleasing Jesus minute by minute learning to trust him every day and in every circumstance. And maybe someday I'll pack 500 boxes or even 1,000. I want to commend to you the words of the Apostle Paul in Acts 20, 24, which I have hanging above my desk. I consider my life worth nothing to me. If only I may finish the race and complete the task the Lord Jesus has given me, the task of testifying to the gospel of God's grace. Brothers and sisters, let us press on to complete the task, to see every people group in the world reached and engaged. Operation Christmas Child is a powerful way to do that. Each box you pack is one more child that hears the gospel and has hope. But you know what else it might be? That might be the start to plant a new church. That might be the start to chart, start a multiplying movement. These boxes are used all over the place. It's awesome. Also, how many people have heard about the Greatest Journey Discipleship Program? Oh, my goodness, you guys need to know this. Okay, so um, since 2009, 26 million children who have received a shoebox have participated in this 12-week follow-up discipleship program. It's awesome. costs $6 to equip a, a to, to cover a kid that covers training teachers and materials. So you may think about it. Okay, if I'm going to pack, now first you're packing all the boxes here at church, but you might think, okay, I'm going to pack a, a three extra boxes at home. Then also go on and make the $18 donations so three more kids can get the discipleship. Remember, it may not be your boxes that those kids get the discipleship, but some kids will. Okay, it will happen. $6 per person, per kid to get discipled. They learn not only what it means to believe in Jesus, but how to share that with others. I couldn't find the information last night. I wish I had, but there's one more story. A young girl went to one of these, went, went to the, you know, got a shoebox, went to Greatest Journey. She came from a Muslim background family. And she went back to her family. And as far as I can remember from reading about it, literally, eventually led the whole family to Christ. And so you never know what's going to happen with your box. In the book by Franklin Graham, he said, winning the hearts of children for Jesus is what keeps us on this journey to deliver a profound message in a simple shoebox. He also said, Every shoebox represents an opportunity to reach one more child with the gospel of Jesus. It's time. It's time to finish the task and make disciples of all nations and people groups. So pack the boxes that you guys are collecting here. Bring more items. Bring those pencil sharpeners and erasers and wow gifts this month, okay? And come to the spaghetti dinner and invite everyone you know to come to the spaghetti dinner. Pack a few additional boxes yourself, even if it's just one box. I have extra boxes by the table that you guys are allowed to take. And don't forget to sponsor for The Greatest Journey, Discipleship. Do some online boxes. And just pack one more than you thought you could. Set a goal, go for it, and then, you know, oh, I got a few soaps left over. Okay, I'll put get a pack a few more boxes. Oh, since I had to get a few more things, I got a few more trucks, toy trucks left over. Okay, I'll pack a few more boxes. So just go for it. You know that I love Christmas. And I want a lot of presents this year. I want 11 million shoe boxes under the Christmas tree. So we're going to pray and work and believe for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will be out in the lobby after service if you'd like to talk. God bless you and bless these boxes and all the work that's going on. Thank you, Linda. Awesome. Thank you, Gina. Thank you. Don't go anywhere. Oh, don't go anywhere. Come here, okay. Willie. That's awesome.
Yes. Yes. I did. I said, come here, Willie. <laughs> oh, man. I want to just pray for them. I would stand up with me if you would. I just want to. Willie, do you want to say anything? Uh, gosh, I don't know what to say. Uh, huh? You put me on. Oh, oh, it's working. Okay. Yes, no, I'm I, doing sound. I didn't know if it was on <laughs> or not. Uh, I love this church with all my heart. And um, gosh, may the Lord bless you guys. Yes. And I, I do. I do. Yes. These, these boxes are obviously, they're part of Wendy's heart in a huge way. They're part of my heart. And it's so cool to see uh, God working, you know, through yeah, FLCC. It's and, great. and it's cool to actually, you know, be here. I mean, I've known these guys for so long and I love you guys so much. So, um, Gosh, I don't know. You just put me on the spot, Scott. Well, you know. <laughs> but here, let me give it back to you. Love May you. God bless you guys. Love you, buddy. Thanks. Hey, Linda, isn't that something? Amen. Amen. Linda, that's what Linda's. I know. I want to meet Linda. I oh, yeah. She's hiding back there. Linda's, okay. Linda's always, always pushing. And I tell you what, yes. if, you're not, if you're not fired up by this lady, <laughs> then you're fireproof. <laughs> You've been fireproofed. And, and we're going to have to take care right, of you. Right. <laughs> uh, what a tremendous heart what a tremendous heart oh my gosh I tell you that just it's such a blessing to hear about that he told us so many things we didn't even know about I didn't know about a lot of those things and oh my gosh you know but the most important thing is them coming to Christ yes yes, yes, yes. absolutely I mean imagine a, a little Muslim girl you know, and, and leading her whole family to Christ. Yes. I mean, what kind of price do you put on that? Yes. You know, so, but I, you know, obviously if she's packing 400 and, and 75 boxes and doing online boxes, you see, you got your wallet on you there, brother? Uh, yeah, it's you right see, here. Yeah. yeah. I better lay hands on that right now. <laughs> better call forth right. the blessings of God. Yeah. He's saying we've spent a lot. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Uh, yeah. That's what I'm saying because uh, uh, <laughs> I can only actually, imagine the yeah. investment that you yeah. guys have made. Yes. And yeah. so let it encourage you mm -hmm. that we can, you know, make an investment yeah. to do more, mm -hmm. to do more. We had, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I'm going to tell the story because you're here and, and some of them haven't heard it, but uh, Adrian and Jennifer were at uh, in Arizona at a meeting for her company. Oh, okay. And they were packing these jars, uh, joy jars. Yeah. They were called joy jars. And, and Adrian and Jennifer, Man, the CEO of the company, walks up and says, uh, hey, Adrian and Jennifer, you guys look like you're enjoying yourself. They said, oh, this is old hat for us. He said, what are you talking about? He said, well, man, every year we pack shoe boxes to send to children oh, around okay. the world. Okay. The CEO said, Really? He said, hey, you tell me when you're doing that. I'd like to, I'd like to be a part of that. Okay. She yeah. just got a check for $500 from that CEO. Oh, gosh, yes. 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 That is so awesome. So yes. that's 50 yeah. boxes. That that's is. The yes. shipping for 50 boxes. It is, yes. yeah. Isn't that awesome? Yes. yes. So yes. God works in mysterious ways his wonders yes. to perform. Yes. Hallelujah. He does. He does. So we thank God for that. And I want to just pray for Willie and Wendy and, uh, you know, the work that he does. The last time, you know, he did, he did some uh, work for us, incredible work. I said, Willie, what do, I, what do I owe you? He said, nothing. He just did it for, and, and I tell you what, it was a lot of work. Oh, oh that's so funny. I forgot about that. I'm going to yeah. turn on sound out here. I forgot to turn on the keyboard. And I can't think about anything else because I'm, <laughs> I'm a sound guy. Okay. <laughs> It's all better now. Now we should okay. be able to hear that out there. Okay, very good. Good work, Bill. <laughs> Glad we got that there straightened go. out. Sorry about that, Scott. No problem. <laughs> but he, he did a bunch of work for us for nothing. You know, it didn't charge us for You know, that. I forgot about that. I totally uh, forgot about that. That's well, it's, mentioned, yeah. mentioned that. But um, you guys, this church is a huge blessing to me. Yeah. You are all so authentic. And yeah. my heart goes out to you guys. And the Spirit of the Lord is here. Well, you know, I'm not into proselyting, <laughs> but I'll make, an, I'll make an exception with you and you. Proselytizing. Thank you. Oh, proselytizing. Yeah. Okay. Proselyt Thank you for that help. <laughs> proselytizing. I'm not into it, but I'll make an exception for you guys. <laughs> Come on, put your hands out toward them. Let's just bless them for, for just imparting to us. Heavenly Father, I thank you for Willie and Wendy. I thank you, God, for their incredible hearts. Lord, and, and what you put in Wendy, God, and her love for Christmas, and, and Lord, just remembering what the reason is, and that's Jesus Christ, and that's the most important thing. But God, these boxes go to children that 
And some of them never had anything, anything. The only thing they have to play with is maybe a stick. Oh God, they just don't have anything. And so Lord, I, I thank you for the heart that, that Wendy has and, and Willie has, Lord, stepping in there and, and helping with that and supporting that and then sharing with us and, and God, just enlarging our hearts, Lord, to have a greater vision to do this work. And so God, I pray blessings upon Willie, upon Wendy. Uh, what's your daughter again? Abigail. Abigail, Lord, we just thank you for the healing of Abigail, God. Just use her, raise her up in a mighty way, God, to be used by you. And we just are thankful and give you all the praise and glory in Christ's name. And everybody said, amen, amen and amen. Amen. God bless you. Thanks for being here today. And again, Wendy will be out there if you have any questions. Or, and she's got a couple boxes up here if you want to see some things she's done. So. Demonstration boxes. Demonstration boxes. Oh, okay, great. Thank you. Love you.